All right. Just getting ourselves situated over here. Don't know if anybody's on yet, but hope you guys, whoever is on, is ready to have some fun because that's what we're going to be doing today. As I'm in the background getting myself situated, make sure you guys are grabbing your snacks, your uh, favorite drink, get your paints ready. We're going to talk about things here in just a moment when I get myself in front of the camera. Give me a couple of minutes or a few seconds actually. All right, looks like we've got seven people on. What's going on, everyone? Hi. Um, as you guys come on, please be sure to say hello. I'm over here getting myself situated. All right, where's my alert? Telling me that Painting with Jesse is online. Bear with me, folks. Again, as you guys come on and uh, jump on with us, please say hello. Let me know where you guys are, are joining in from. Let me adjust my painting here so that we can, so you guys can see me a little bit better. I don't see my feet just yet on here. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can I see myself on my phone? Sorry, guys. The joys of doing these um, Facebook Lives. Let's see here. There we go. I see myself on my phone. Awesome. Hi, Christine. What's going on? So again, guys, as you guys jump on, please introduce yourselves. Let me know where you guys are joining us from. I think we're going to have quite a few people, quite a few different or new people today. And I still can't find my feet on my phone, so... Bear with me a little bit while I get that. There we go. I think I found it. Beautiful. I gotta lower my volume there. No, it's not. Uh, sorry. Wrong one. All right. Where am I? Come on, Facebook. Thirteen people on. So remember, guys, as you guys jump on, please say hello. Let me know where you guys are from. I'm going to set up, I'm going to adjust my lighting here a little bit in a moment, but i got to find my Facebook feed first. For some reason, it's not popping up on my page. Normally, it shows up right at the top. So just bear with me a little bit while I get myself figured out here. All right, all right, what's happening? What is going on? What's happening here? Let me, let me try refreshing here, guys. Hey, let's go live, baby. Hi, Zandra. How's it going? What's up, Ariel? Okay, I found it. All right. Give me a sec, guys. Let me adjust my lights. First, let me, let me lower the volume on my, there we go. I had to lower the volume on my computer there. All right. Let me adjust some lights in the background. So we got about 20, looks like about 23 people watching right now. You guys, again, please uh, introduce yourselves. I'd like to see where everybody is joining from. Looks like I got a bunch of emails over the last few days requesting the cutouts and stuff. So, um, yeah, it looks like we're going to have quite a few new people on here. 
So, all right, new people, for those of you that aren't familiar with the process, what's up, Michelle Peterson? Jay Hubbard, what's up? JJ Hubbard, how's it going? How are you, Jay? Let's see, let's see. Don't be shy, guys. Make sure you guys say hello. All right, so here we go, guys. I got the, let's get our color palette going here. You guys already know, if you guys have seen the colors list, we're going to have a little bit of blue on here today. A little bit of blue. We're going to create a light blue background by mixing this dark blue with some white. So again, a little bit of white. Hold on a second. Got to adjust the slide a little bit. Okay. So some, some blue. Some white. Get them getting the palette, our colored palette ready. What's going on, Lynette? Hi, hi Lynette Via. What's up? Ramy Ann Krosky, hello. Hope everyone's doing everyone is doing fantastic today. So we got some blue, we got some white, we got some green. Okay, we're gonna have two different colors of blue. We got a darker blue, and we got a little bit of a of a light blue, the, the light blue's for the background. If you already don't have a light blue, we're gonna create it by mixing white and blue together. So all you need on your palette is one darker blue, one, of course, white, and then a darker green. You can also make the light green that we're gonna be using by mixing white and green. All right, hope you're excited. What's up, Adriana Faith? How are you guys? Let me know where you guys are joining from. Okay, when you guys, please let me know Please say hello and then let me know where you guys are joining me from today. Gotta, like I said, I'm expecting quite a few new people. So some black. So we got some white. We got some blue. We got some green. Gonna need more of that white. I'll come over to the front in a second and uh, show you guys what my palette looks like. Okay, gonna bring this up to the camera. Okay, here's what the palette looks like for the moment. We got some blue, we got some green, black, white. Yes, we got some a couple of different shades of blue in the painting itself. We're going to create the light blue by mixing the two together, unless you've got some light blue. If you've got light blue already, you're all set. We're also going to be doing a couple of different shades of green. We've got some black. And then, of course, the glitter. If you guys are making the shark, let me show you what the shark looks like. If you got, Maybe some of you guys are making both together. What's up, Rebecca? Oh, come on, Ariel, you're not painting today. So let me show you guys. I'm sure you guys have already seen the video where I talk about this, but let me show you guys. For those of you that are making both the shark and the mermaid, this is what you're going to have. And I'm not going to bring the other easel up. This is what you're gonna. This is what you're going to make, right? If you're again, if you're making both, these guys are meant to work with each other, just like that. I'm going to be painting the mermaid. Okay, I'm going to be painting the mermaid. But the steps are pretty much identical, except for when it comes down to making the shark. Where it's necessary, I'm going to bring up the shark painting. I'll, I'll bring it up to the screen so you guys can see it. But if you guys are making both, this is what that'll look like. Okay, again, when it comes time, when it's essential for me to bring up the other painting, I will do so. Okay, but... During the painting session today, I am only going to be painting the mermaid, going through the steps, the entire process on the mermaid. But again, the steps are really similar. I'll explain as we're going. If you're planning on doing the shark, don't even wor don't worry about it. I got you covered. Again, make sure you guys have your snacks, your drinks ready. The process will take us at least at least about. Uh, two and a half hours I do believe all right we got about 34 devices watching your glitter colors for today if you're gonna be using glitter paint this is just an option got some pearl we got some blue we've got some gold and we got some green okay so again that's just an option if um, if you guys don't have any of that don't worry about it whoops Almost lost my stool here. Time to replace my stool. All right, let's see here. Hi, Aaron Diane near Big Bear, California. How's it going? Hi, Ramey from Temecula. 
Hi, Payal. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Let's see who else. Did I miss anybody? Okay, good. Be excited, guys. We're going to have some fun. So a couple of things I want to make sure you guys all understand. Um, I'm going to leave the video up for those of you that weren't ready for today. Maybe you guys didn't get the templates. Templates done on time. Remember, you guys do want to have your templates ready. The little cutouts for when we do the tracing of either the mermaid or the shark. Let me bring these guys up close so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So we got a little shark cut out, right? We got a little mermaid cut out. I sent these templates out to you guys for those of you that emailed me. And when it comes time to do so, we're going to be tracing these onto our canvases. Okay? So if you guys don't have these ready, you can follow along with the entire process up until we get to the tracing part. That you can always do on your own later. If you haven't yet emailed me for that information, make sure you guys send your email to paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Okay, JJ is your granddaughter. Okay, awesome, Christine. Well, welcome, JJ. Glad to have you on. Let's see who else is on here. We got about 40 devices watching right now. Mary Elizabeth, Maria Elizabeth McCannon from Oregon. I think you've been with us before, right, Maria? I, I believe you painted with us before. Lynette Gonzalez is from Menifee. Hi, Lynette. What's up, Wonder Pointer from San Bernardino? Awesome, Wonder and Miala. Miala, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Let me know if, if I got it wrong. Let's see. Who else is on? Okay, Maria, so you have painted with us before. Awesome. Uh, Janet Brandon. What's up, Janet? And Logan from Bakersfield. Got a lot of people from California on today. Cool. Okay, Christine. Hi, Jalen. How are you? Rajeshwari Bagon. Hi, how are you? Hello from New Jersey. Jayanthi, what's up? All right, guys, give me one second. I want to make sure that I'm all situated over here. Just going to adjust my lights a little bit. We're going to get started right about at 120. So you guys want to be making sure that you guys have your paint ready. You guys are going to need. So I like to use these plates to mix my colors in, right? So you guys are going to want to have at least a couple of extra of these because we are going to be doing some, uh, some paint mixing. You also want to have a roll of paper towels. Very important. Messes are going to happen. Uh, let's see here. Brushes. You want a marker of some type because when we do the outline for the shark or the mermaid, you're going to want to outline it, outline it with this. Pencil. And like I said, an assortment of brushes. Hopefully you guys already have all you guys need. If you guys do not and are just watching this today to kind of see how things go, you guys, excuse me, I'm going to come across the camera here. If you guys do not have it yet, the supplies list, the video is going to stay up. I will also be uploading it to my YouTube so that any of you guys that want to follow along, you guys can. You guys want to get your drinks ready? We like to do some toast throughout the process. We like to cheer each other on. All right. What's up, Phil? What's going on, Phil? Hi, Crystal Shaw. What's up, Janet? Hey, Janet, are you painting today or are you just hanging out? Let me know if you guys are painting. I also want to know if you guys are painting. So again, guys, make sure you guys have some paper towels. It's going to be very important. Things can get a little messy. I like to use an apron and we're working with acrylic paints. If you guys have never worked with acrylic paints before, acrylic paints will um, stain just about any type of cloth clothing that you guys have. So you guys want to make sure you protect your clothes. Do we have any new uh, painters, paint, people that have never painted before? Let me know. I'm kind of curious if we have any first time painters. Who else, guys? Who else is on? Don't be shy. Say hello. We've got about 10 minutes to get started, so might as well say hi to me. Let me know where you guys are, where you guys are joining us from. Do we have any, uh, any birthdays today? Anybody celebrating birthdays or anniversaries? If you guys are spending your uh, special day, at least part of your special day with me, that would be awesome to know. What's up, Jada and Weston from Louisiana? Glad to ha have you guys with us today. What's up, Phil? All right, who else we got on here? 
Looks like we've got about 47 devices watching currently. Um, that could mean we have 100 people on. If there's groups of twos, we could have 150 people on. We have 200 people on. Who knows? Um, I'm going to be doing some raffles throughout the event. I've got a couple of raffles. I'm going to provide details as we go, but just so you guys know how we're going to do this. Raffle number one. I'm going to talk about that right now. So just kind of listen up. The winner will get a choice of this painting right here. Let's take this guy home. It glows in the dark. Or this cool little patriotic one that we just did right, uh, it was the weekend of 4th of July. No, sorry, the weekend after the 4th of July. We did this guy right here. So, and the way we're going to do this is cutoff is midnight tonight. Again, these are the prizes, either one or the other. You get to pick. The winner will get to pick, and I'll be announcing the winner tomorrow. Okay? The winner, so the way it's going to work, you must share your painting. Whatever we paint today, right? Not whatever we paint. Whichever of the two paintings you do, sharp or mermaid, both, whatever. You guys are going to want to share your painting on your page. Tag painting with Jesse. And just talk a little bit about the good time that you had with me because you will be having a good time. It's guaranteed. Um, just say, say something nice about the page. Make sure you message me on Painting with Jesse to let me know that you've tagged the page. Again, the cutoff is midnight tonight. Tomorrow, at some point, I'm going to gather all the names of everybody that, that uh, shared the page. And I will draw one name. One of you, get, so you will get to pick the painting of your choice. I will send that to you. I will ship it to you wherever you are in the United States. Only United States, guys. Sorry, can't ship it all the way out to another country because of the shipping cost, of course, is pretty exorbitant. Unless you want to pay for that part of it, which we can talk about that. Um, also, if at any point during the event, guys, please pay very close attention to this. Every once in a while, we will have some Facebook glitches. Actually, I'm not going to lie, sometimes it's my fault. <clears throat> if... The, if you lose the feed on the page, we're not done with the painting. You know we're not done because we're, you're going across and we're halfway through or whatever and you lose the feed, please refresh your screen. It might take two, three, four, five minutes for you to see the video again. Don't leave. Please come back. Okay, I want to make sure that everybody understands that. So sometimes um, we will lose the, uh, the feed and... Uh, usually it's been something that I accidentally do on my end with the, with the camera. Um, and so I just want to make sure you guys come back. Okay, Just refresh the page a few times. Eventually I will be back. No more than five minutes you'll see me again. Okay, So again, please do not leave if you guys uh, see me disappear off of your screen. All right. Let's see. Jayanthi, hello from New Jersey. Okay, Lynette, you and your daughter Celeste and husband. Travis are doing this one. Awesome. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Travis. Welcome, Celeste. Glad it's your first time with me. So pretty, so cool. Um, let's see. And you guys are from Moreno Valley. Okay, awesome. Let's see. Who else do we have? Anybody else? Penny Droneberg-Smith. Hi, Penny. Hi, Leah. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Lisa Hong. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Kylie and Caitlin. Hi, Kylie and Caitlin. How are you? And then, okay, so Mova. A lot of people from, from California. Very cool. And Oliver and, Elvin, Oliver and Evelyn from Playa del Rey. Hi, guys. Hi, ladies. How are you? Anyway, guys, we've got about five minutes to get started. Get yourselves nice and situated. Remember the raffle. I'll talk about it again later. Cut off is midnight for this one. I've got a couple of other things at least one more raffle that I'm going to be talking about here in a little while. But at the very least, uh, we know we're going to have one raffle. And the cutoff is midnight tonight, so make sure that when you're done, when we're done at the end of the session here, that you guys share. If you're interested in the raffle, share it to your page. Um, and then tag me. Make sure you tag the page, Painting with Jesse. And then send me a message here on Facebook Messenger letting me know that you guys... I've shared the page that way. I don't miss you guys, okay? Crystal Shaw says, hurry, let's get going. All right, guys, I'm with that. I am with that. Let me bring myself forward. <clears throat> get myself all nice and ready. 
Gonna get my canvas here in just a moment. Pull it on up. All right. So, oh, oh, oh. making messes up over here already. Okay, no mess yet. A little too early to start making messes. All right, guys, so I'm going to be using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Whatever canvas you guys are using, hopefully you adjusted the cutout to fit. Okay, so let me go ahead. I'm going to bring the camera forward. I'm going to bring this camera forward here. So you guys can get a better view of what I'm doing step by step. I will be able to see your questions, but I'm not always looking at my computer screen, which is where I get your questions. So if you don't hear, if you don't see me or hear me, sorry, if you don't hear me answer your question right away, wait a few minutes or wait a, wait a little bit and I'll eventually get to it. I try not to miss any of the questions that come up or the comments. So again, I am just getting everything ready here in the background. In a moment, we're gonna start getting, we're gonna start painting here. We're going to start with that light blue background. Okay, we're going to start with that light blue background. Let me adjust my camera here a little bit more. I want to make sure we get a good angle so you guys can see everything nicely. Again, folks, this is a live feed, obviously, so all kinds of crazy things can happen. But the main thing is that if you happen to lose my feed through some kind of error of mine or there's been a couple of times that Facebook actually shut off the feed because I was playing music in the background and apparently I didn't have the rights to the music go figure that's no fair right it's a bummer anyway they cut off the feed and I had to restart again from where we left off so just keep in mind that that can happen that doesn't mean that the uh, videos over that the uh, paint sessions over just refresh your screens and come on back all right, everybody, sorry about the jiggly camera there. Just trying to get a better view of everything. First off, I want to say thank you to everybody that's joining us today. Um, I know that you know some of you guys are taking some time out of your day to paint with us. <clears throat> My goal is to make sure that everybody has a whole lot of fun. Hi, Ava, how's it going? So Lexi says, you have to type Facebook. I do not have the rights to this music and you need to pin to live. Got it. Somebody else has told me that before. I guess that's a thing. I will try that next time. Thank you for the info there, Lexi. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to try that. Maybe I'll try that during the, uh, during the actual event. But anyway, guys, these hearts go out to all of you guys that are hanging out with me today. So I don't know what you guys are all drinking. But I'm going to be drinking a little bit of uh, Capri Sun from my juice box. You guys can't see my juice box, but I want to say cheers to all of you that are hanging out with me today. Cheers to us and to an awesome Under the Sea painting event. Cheers, everyone. Here we go. So... First thing, biggest brush in the group. I got this two inch brush, synthetic bristles. For those of you that aren't, they're only watching today, they aren't actually joining in. <clears throat> I picked these up at Michael's. Okay. We, need, we use this big brush to cover large areas of our background. So, first thing that I'm going to do, I mentioned we're going to be using some light blue. So, I'm going to take a little bit of blue. Okay, a little bit of blue. And bring it over <clears throat> to a spare plate here. This is where I'm going to be mixing the colors. And I'm going to grab a whole bunch of white. Quite a bit of white. And I start mixing the two together. So I go very slowly, especially at the beginning, and then we slowly start to picking it up, pick it up. Okay? So what I'm doing right now is I'm mixing the light blue color for the background. Now, the idea is not that you guys are going to create an exact replica of what I'm creating, of what I've got over here. Okay, my 
of my painting. You're gonna create something similar to it. <clears throat> Please don't make it your goal unless you really, really want to, to try to create something exactly like mine. Okay, everyone's ends up looking a little bit different and that's perfectly all right. It actually makes yours unique. It makes yours a little different, right? And if you want to get creative and add whatever you want, please feel free to do so. If you want to add something different to yours, um, up to you. When it gets to the time that we're actually doing the little seahorses, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do those freehand. Flounder, I'll be drawing that freehand. I mentioned in the video that I posted a couple of days ago that uh, the mermaid, I can go through and teach you guys how to draw the mermaid freehand, but that would take a really long time, and some of you guys would get really frustrated. So we're not doing that today. We're, we're, we're going to be using those uh, the cutouts for that. So back to our color. So again, mixing, we're mixing our background color. What I want you guys to do, if you guys are planning on doing the shark, let's say you're doing one of the paintings today. You're by yourself. Maybe you're doing the mermaid today, and then you're planning on coming back and doing the shark at some later date. What you want to do is you want to mix a lot of this paint so you have enough to cover your other canvas. I would actually even recommend that you actually paint the background, just the background, this color here, for that other canvas, again, if you're planning on doing both. Whoops, I almost, uh, almost knocked my canvas over. So once again, I want to repeat that. If you're planning on doing both on separate canvases, the shark and the mermaid, either A, you want to go ahead and cover both canvases with this color now so that the colors match, or B, you want to mix enough of this now and then save it, the rest of it for later so that you can actually paint the other one at a later time. I would recommend simply painting the other background now if you've got the other canvas just for this background blue color because again, you want them to match. So here we go, light blue. Once you've got the mix that you want, then we start to apply it to the background. And all you're gonna do, this, this step here is, a, is important, your brush strokes. You want your br brush strokes to go diagonally. So from one corner, so just pick whatever angle you want and you wanna follow that direction. Let me know guys if you're hearing any vibration. I'm actually using my phone to record this. It's on silent mode, but I know sometimes uh, if I didn't do it right, it'll, it'll vibrate in your ears. Let me know if you guys get any of that. So again, you want to do this in a diagonal fashion. It can be a little streaky, meaning the colors don't, doesn't have to be completely all one color. From one corner to the other, you want to cover all of the canvas from top to bottom. Nothing to it. If it's your first time painting, guys, or if it's, or you're really new to painting, I'm glad you're here. Please do not stress out. Simply follow everything that I do. Watch my brush strokes. Watch how I hold the brushes. Those are all tips to help you have an easier time with the painting. A lot of people like to get, not that, the, not that people like to get stressed, but a lot of people get stressed. Um, because they've never done it, because they think maybe they're not artistic. But I promise you, if you guys just pay attention, listen to what I'm doing, and uh, watch closely, you're gonna be fine. Nothing to it. And again, the goal should not be, unless you really want it to be, that you're creating something exactly like mine. Okay? I want you, to get, want you guys to create something that's unique. Uh, if it looks like mine, cool. But don't stress out about that part because that is not or should not be something that stresses you out. Again, everyone's is going to be a little different. And then the other thing, guys, if you guys want to send me progress pictures as you, as you guys are going along, message me here to Painting with Jesse. I'll use my other phone to, uh, to look at your pictures. If you guys have questions, I'll try to answer them. Also, make sure you guys are asking your questions, right? You guys can ask your questions. There's no, there's no dumb question. No question is wrong. You guys, expect, again, especially if you're new, ask away. I'll be more than happy to answer your question. But also at the very end, I do ask that everybody send me pictures. I like to share them. And um, 
you know, I'd like to see what you guys do. If you guys can take pictures of all of you painting together, especially if you're painting with your families, your friends, please send me pictures. I'd love to see what you guys are doing. So um, there's my background. Okay, again, if you're doing the if you're doing the shark, or you know, let's say right now you're doing the shark, and later on you're going to do the mermaid. You want to go ahead and do both canvases, and you want to follow the same the same diagonal pattern. Okay, if you guys notice. On mine here, my this is a lot steeper. The diagonal that I use for my brush strokes on this one is a lot steeper than the one on this one. This one's a little less angled, but that's okay. No big deal. They both work. Okay, right now all we're worried about is this light blue background. So as as you guys are painting along, I like to paint my edges or the sides of my canvas. So like what I mean by that is this right here. I like to paint all of this. So once you've done the front, if you guys want, you can also paint your sides. It's not necessary. It's up to you, like I said, but it does, for me anyway, it makes my canvases look a lot nicer, especially if I hang them up. If you guys are planning to hang them up, maybe consider painting your edges. So we're doing the, the side. We're going to do the sides. We're going to do the top. We're going to do the front. All right, Lexi, these are acrylic paint. Okay, these are this is acrylic paint. I'm gonna show you guys the acrylic paints that I use. Again, guys, for those of you that are um, just watching today, maybe you're gonna paint at another time, I'm gonna leave the video up. Once the live version's over, the video's going to stay up. I'm also going, going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel, my new YouTube channel, pretty, pretty new. Um, or I, I've had it for a while, but I just recently started uploading some of the lives that we're doing. I'll be posting that this to YouTube for the for any of you that would like to go and follow along. You guys keep working here, guys. In a moment, I'm gonna come back. I need to fill up my water cup or my cup with water. If you're, if you're new to acrylic paint, folks, you're gonna want to have some water in your cup, okay? And I'll explain that in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and fill mine up. So give me just a sec. Okay, so I've got water in my little cup here. What I'm going to do with my brushes, they're all going to sit there facing down. Once I'm done with the brush, I simply take that brush, put it back into that water cup so that it doesn't dry out. Acrylic paint dries very quickly. Sorry, I'm, I'm looking at the questions. Yeah, so acrylic paint dries very quickly. Um, so just be aware that you want to have your brushes soaking in water as we're going through the painting process. Okay, at the very end, you'll want to clean them up with a little bit of soap um, and then dry them facing upwards so that they don't bend. If you leave them facing downwards for too long, they eventually start to bend. Okay, so Lisa says, it's hard to see the mermaid outline once we paint the background. So that can be the case if you're using a really dark colored background. So because the background is really light, here's what I'm going to do. Once we're, once we're ready to do the mermaid outline, I'm going to first outline it in pencil, and then I'm going to come in and outline the pencil in black ink so you guys can see it. Okay, so you should be okay because the background is light enough. You should be okay outlining in pencil and then, um, and then outlining in marker. You should be all right because it's light. Again, the background is light. But yes... It's a good point when you're working with a darker background, it is difficult to see uh, the traces. Hi, Andra. What's up, Rejma? How are you? So, Lexi, again, guys, somebody, so Lexi just asked what kind of paints I'm using. Again, these are called acrylic paints. One of my favorite go to brands is this Artist Loft uh, brand that I pick up at Michael's. <clears throat> Relatively cheap. These large bottles um, are about 10 bucks when you buy them normal price, but if you get one of those coupons, those 40% coupons, 50% coupons, they're a lot cheaper that way and they last a really long time. It's a pretty good quality paint. It's not professional quality or anything like that, but it's a pretty good quality paint for what? For creating these cool little paintings like this. 
Another brand that I like to use a little bit thicker, a little bit, maybe a little bit glossier is this uh, fine, the fine touch acrylic paint. Okay. Fine touch. I picked these up. I believe I get these at Hobby Lobby. That's right. I, I get those at Hobby Lobby. Um, so again, acrylic paint of any type actually will work. I'm just sharing with you brands that I use. And then for the for the glitter, I like to use these DecoArt Craft Twinkles. These are pretty cool. All it is is glitter floating around in glue. So you can pick up a bunch of these in different colors. And they're like $2.50, 3 bucks normal price. But again, if you get them with a coupon, then you can go ahead and uh, and uh, um, get get them for like $1.50, 2 bucks, something like that. But cool, Andrew, no worries. Awesome, Andra. I love you guys, too. I'll see you guys, what, about a week or so? I'm trying to remember the date for our Zoom session. For those of you that don't know, I am starting to do Zoom sessions, private Zoom sessions for parties, um, celebrations, whatever, et cetera. I know, you know, we're obviously all kind of doing our thing to social distance. So live paint parties like I used to do or in-person paint parties like I used to do right now are kind of... Uh, are, are on hold so I am going to be doing some zoom stuff but okay so we got our background color in give me some thumbs up if you guys are ready to go to the next step I want to see some thumbs up just letting me know if, that you guys are ready to go let's see hi Dolores hi Kiana So we got about 45 people watching right now, or 45 devices on. Again, guys, please don't be shy. Say hello. And let me know where you guys are from. August 4th. Okay, sounds good, Andrew. That's right. August 4th. Not too long from now. Are we ready? Are we ready to start working on some detail? Hi, move in. Mubin Sultana. All right, guys. A little bit of background color coming up. All right, so let's take a look at the original. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to start adding some dark blue streaks in that water. Watch what I do first, okay, especially if you guys are new to this. How's it going, Joyce? How are you? Joyce Yang, hi. Leslie Temple, how's it going? So I'm switching brushes for this next step. Okay, every time I pull a brush out of my water cup, so I got my brush like this, I pull it out, and then I'll do this. I'll squeeze out any extra water. I don't want my brush to be drippy. Sometimes I will use some of that water to mix into the paint. Hi, Poonam. I will, make, I will use some water to mix into the paint, but anytime I pull a brush out of the water cup, First thing I do is squeeze out any extra water. Want to make sure that we don't have any drippy paint. So here's what I'm going to do. Simply grabbing some of this dark blue paint. Don't need a lot for this step. Okay. This is a three quarters inch brush right here. Whatever size you guys have is good enough. Okay. Work with what you've got. All the brushes that I have are synthetic bristle brushes. I like, I like to use the Taclon uh, Fibers, synthetic fiber type. These are really good, durable brushes, and they brush the brush strokes they create are really nice and smooth. I like that. Okay, so here's my blue. Again, I don't need a lot. I'm going to start up in this upper corner right here, following the same angle that I uh, that I used to originally create the background. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. In other words, I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush stroke direction and I'm just going to add some dark blue to this upper left hand corner. I'm going to pull up the picture of the shark here in just a moment for those of you that are doing the shark. The backgrounds are similar and this is this background color that I'm adding is kind of random. Okay, nothing nothing real specific. I'm just going to pick a few spots to make some streaks. Maybe we've got some sunlight coming through. Got some darker areas of um, water so the sunlight would be in between right we got some like right maybe that's a large beam of light that's coming through the water 
These lines that I'm creating are a little bit on the transparent side. Again, they're random, folks. Look what I do with the paint. I'm not using a lot of paint. I'm spreading the paint out to make it look a little more transparent. You're going to pick, you're going to pick as much paint as you'd like, or sorry, you're going to create as many of these lines as you want. These are meant to be little streaks in the water, right? Streaks of, of light. And I'm using very little paint light brush strokes again look at how i'm holding my brush i'm using the very very point of the bristles in this case and there's no perfect to this it's not like you guys have to add just as many lines as, as i've got you may have more you may have less your lines may be shorter your lines may be longer and then what i like to do is every once in a while i will take a little step back and look at my painting from a little bit of a distance. It gives me a better perspective. Hi, Jayanti. Okay, so you said you used an Indian turquoise for the base coat, because that's what I have. What are my choices for color I can use for the darker coat? Do you have any black? Uh, you, if you have a, if you have black or you have brown, you can mix a little bit of that paint with your turquoise to create a darker version. Okay. So again, if you've already, if you've only got a particular color that's darker than what I'm using here for the background, or it's a different color, you can make a darker version of that by simply mixing a little bit of black or brown. Okay. Doesn't take much to darken it up. All right. So again, just work on those little streaks. Take a little step back from time to time. Make sure you're happy with your work if you are making the shark. And some of those, whoops, wrong side here. Yes, yeah, sorry, confusing myself. So if you're making the shark, let me move the mermaid over a little bit. Just make sure your lines line up a little bit. A little bit. Like, for example, I could have done a better job here with this one. Maybe this line. Well, let me do this. Let me do this. Still confusing myself. Just make sure your lines line up. If you're working, maybe, maybe uh, you know, you guys are working on in teams and you guys are making um, both paintings, you'll, you're going to want your streaks to line up. Okay? Your details are going to line up. Something like that. Okay? You got it, JRT. Let's see. All right, guys, you guys keep working on that. Going to give you guys a couple minutes to get all that done. Let me see if I, we got any questions that I've missed. Hi, Chantal. Swati Jane, how are you? From Cal from Cali, okay, awesome. Very cool, guys. Seen a lot of new people on today. So... For those of you that are interested in continuing to paint, if you guys look back in my previous posts, I have a whole bunch of, uh, I don't know how many, how many I've got now, but I started creating these videos pretty early on when COVID and the shutdowns and everything started. So I've got a pretty, um, maybe not huge, but pretty good amount of videos that you guys can go back and look at. Uh, and they're live versions of, of, so they're basically recordings of the live versions that I uploaded. You guys can go back and follow along with those if you'd like. In those videos, you'll find this one here, the tutorial for this painting here. This one actually glows under black light. We use some neon paints for that. You will find this truck with flowers special delivery I call this one you will find this hot air balloon one okay again if you guys want to go back there's a few others also these aren't the only ones if you guys want to go back and look at some of my old videos follow along with those please do so also I'd like to ask if you guys haven't already make sure you guys like and follow the page it's a big, great, it's a great help to me in growing the channel. 
All right, everyone. So now we're going to do the same thing that we just did with the blue. We're going to do with the green. I'm going to use the same brush. My brush was every time after, again, don't forget, after we're done with every, every step, take your brush, put it back into your water cup. Don't let it sit there drying because it will, acrylic paint dries very quickly and it will harden your brushes. It will ruin them. So I take the same brush that I'm using that I just used a moment ago. I take that out, squeeze out any extra water. I can have a little bit of blue in there still. It doesn't matter. I don't have to remove all the blue. I'm going to take a little bit of the green and we're going to do the same thing that I just did a moment ago. Very little green is necessary for this step. I'm actually going to take a little bit of white because my green is pretty dark. I'm going to take a little bit of white and mix it with my green. Just to lighten up the color a bit. Okay, once I've done that, again, I don't need a whole lot of paint, so I'm removing as much of it as I or most of it so I have very little paint left on my brush and then just random again this is random you can find some spots on the canvas to create some little green streaks transparent green streaks again folks don't stress they don't have to sit in the same spots that my um, that I'm, that I'm uh, putting them on same spot that I'm putting mine on Yours can be in different spots on your canvas. You do want to make sure they're a little transparent, so you don't want to use a lot of paint. Spread that paint. I keep, I keep going over the same area many times like this, and that slowly spreads the paint across that canvas. I know we've got a lot of kids on today, um, a lot of parents with their children painting. Welcome guys, welcome to all the kids that are painting with us. Hope you guys are having fun. Um, please don't forget to send me pictures of your paintings. I would appreciate pictures of yourselves in the paintings, but it's not necessary. Of course, some you know, I know sometimes people are a little, little leery about sending pictures. No big deal. Um, but um, I'd love to see what you guys are doing when we're all done. I'd love to see your paintings. I am working on creating a kids art camp. Maybe starting in September, a whole lot of kids out of school or they can't go to, they can't physically go to school. So I'm creating a kids art camp online. We're going to be creating some really cool stuff. Things like Mr. SpongeBob right here. Okay. Look at that. I'll be teaching you guys how to draw SpongeBob, how to paint SpongeBob freehand. We're going to talk about where I teach you guys how to draw freehand. Maybe a little Pokemon with your name at the top. Okay. Things like that. So be aware. Keep uh, keep an eye out for the details for that stuff. Um, you don't have to use it. So Yvonne, you don't have to use green if you don't want. Not necessary. All of the color choices that I've made on my painting are optional. Sorry if I didn't uh, explain that earlier. You guys can use whatever colors you've got. If you have other colors that you'd like to use, you know, definitely feel free to uh, use what you've got. Or if you want, you know, if you don't like a particular color choice that I'm making, no big deal. Um, please make the painting your own. Okay. Um, I am, I am super, super um, happy when I see people change things up. When they get, when I see people being creative, because that's what this is about. I'm only teaching you guys let's say the basics of how to reproduce something similar to what I've got. But if you guys want to go and change it up, please absolutely feel free to do so. So again, green is just optional. Don't worry about, um, but about adding green if you don't want to have green in your painting. Okay. And that goes for any other color. If you want your mermaid. So I'm going to be painting the mermaid black, right? She's in silhouette. If you want to, actually add detail to your mermaid where you can maybe see her skin color etc etc all up to you okay so again take a little step back from time to time take a look at your painting make sure that you're happy with your progress so far make sure that your lines are adjusted are straight relatively straight right if you're painting across diagonally like this um, 
you want to make sure that your lines are all nice and, e and even for the most part. I can see that I forgot to add a little bit of paint down at the bottom here. There we go. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to work on that. That means that while you guys are painting, and for those of you that maybe are in between steps, you guys can join me in a little, a little toast. Cheers to everybody once again. Thank you guys for joining me today. I do these live events regularly. I these live sessions have been on, like I said, since since uh, COVID first kind of uh, maybe not right when it first started, but when all the lockdowns began. I'm trying, to, I want to say maybe in March or April is when I started doing these lives, and we've been doing them almost weekly ever since. Um. I don't charge anything for the live sessions, so feel free to come on back whenever you guys want. You'll see my, I don't have anything posted right now for what we got next week or the following few weeks. I like to post a calendar. I don't have anything up right now, but I will have something up earlier, early in the week. All right. What's happening, guys? I'm seeing a lot of happy faces, a lot of. Happy emojis, thumbs up, hearts, and then a few little sad faces here and there, <laughs> with, mixing with a couple of maybe mad faces. <clears throat> okay, everyone, are we ready for the next step? Give me some thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. All right, seeing some thumbs up coming up means you guys are ready to go to the next step. And the next step is, I'm going to set this right across the top of here. Whoops, actually, he's the mermaid, but again, the shark is essentially the same thing. What we're going to do now. Okay, sorry, moving. Looks like you're saying you're not seeing the video. I'm not sure what's going on. Refresh your screen, okay? If you have if you have a problem with your video, refresh the screen. Everything looks good on my end, so um, yeah. Let me know, guys, if there's any problem with the video. Here's what we're going to create next: the floor. This dark colored floor down here. Now, once again, I'd like to point out that if you're doing both, either today or at a later time, you're going to be adding the shark. You want to make sure. If they're going to be uh, complementing each other, that you have, that you line them up, okay? Your, your little hill right here is going to line up. And everybody's ground is going to look a little different. So, you know, if yours, if your hill's here, there's a little hill on the left side or in the middle where the mermaid is or the hill's behind the shark, that's all up to you. I'm going to maintain this, um, this same shape. Whatever you decide to do, Keep in mind, you need to leave some space for your mermaid or your shark. Okay, you can have, you want to have some space so you can fit her in, <clears throat> or the shark in. And we also have some seaweed we're going to be adding. So just make sure that when you do the step, you don't go too high up where you can't, uh, where you're not going to leave enough space for your mermaid or your shark. Okay. <clears throat> so. Same, actually, I'm going to switch. I've got this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I got this one inch brush that I'm going to be using for this next step. We're going to take some black, okay, and I'm going to come over to my mix plate, find a spot. The blue here that's on the plate's already dry. So I'm not worried about it mixing. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my green, little touch of green. 
You don't have to add green. You don't have to add any colors to this. I'm adding it just to make it a little bit transparent, more of a green black. Okay, so I'm, I'm creating a little bit of a green black color for this. Okay, and everybody's color is going to vary a bit again, so don't stress about making an exact color, an exact color to mine. A little bit of black and a little bit of green. Taking this brush, I'm going to go and create my floor. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to raise this up a little bit so I can make sure I get to that bottom edge. Go like this. Okay. I'm using the edge of my brush. It's better to go really, really close to the bottom edge. You can always add layers to make it larger if you wish. But make it, make it so it's really close to the edge, the bottom edge of your canvas. And then just kind of fill it in with your brush. Nothing crazy, nothing fancy. Keeping in mind, we're going to have seaweed on here. We're going to have some seahorses hanging out in that seaweed. If you guys don't want to have seahorses in there, no big deal. If you guys don't want to have seaweed in there, no big deal. Just don't stress. Again, it's all about having some fun with this. I want you guys to enjoy yourselves. There we go. Something like that. Again, don't go too don't go up too high. If you go too high up, you're going to uh, minimize the space for your for your um, mermaid or the shark. Hi, Rita. Welcome, Rita. Got, glad you're here. I know I sent you the email earlier this morning. Um, yeah, no worries. Get your supplies. You got the supplies list. The video is going to stay up. It'll also be on YouTube on my painting with Jesse page on YouTube. If you want to go there. So with this part of it here, I also want to do my edges. Now, some of you may have already noticed that I didn't paint my bottom edge earlier. So I didn't paint this earlier when I did my blue background. That's because I don't do that part till the very, very end. If I do it now and I put this on my easel, it's going to, it's going to uh, stick to my easel. So... If you want to, if you're not painting on an easel, maybe you're painting on, painting on a table, you want to go ahead and paint this in now, okay, in this black color, all right, on this black green color. Hi, Barry. How's it going, Barry Romero? Welcome. Don't forget, guys, I do these lives on a regular basis, so, so stay tuned. Here in the next couple of days, I'm, I'm going to be posting up the... Um, the live calendar, the calendar of lives for next month. So be on the lookout for that. Also, as I've already mentioned, I'm working on creating a kids art camp. I know a lot of kids are staying home. And, uh, you know, you guys are looking for stuff for them to do, stuff that's creative, stuff that's fun. <clears throat> I'm going to be teaching them how to do cool stuff. Maybe we don't have a lot of Homer Simpson fans. I don't know that I'm even doing any Homer Simpson. But we'll, be, we'll be drawing and painting stuff like this. Maybe for maybe some older kids. Stuff like that. Um, I got a little Super Mario. I'll be teaching them how to draw from scratch. Okay, and paint. Once we do the, paint, uh, the drawings. So, be on the lookout for that. All right, so just want to reiterate, connecting your ground, if you're, if you're doing a, both paintings, you want to make sure your ground connects from one canvas to the, to the next, okay? Okay, Barry, sounds good. <clears throat> Again, folks, if there are any of you, <coughs> excuse me, if there are any of you that are simply watching right now that don't have the supplies, and you haven't yet emailed over to paintingwithjesse at gmail.com. Just like the name on the page is spelled, email me. I will send you the supplies list 
I will send you the template so you guys can cut out. So, and all the little details involved. Okay? All right, everyone. <clears throat> so, what you want to do right now is you want to take a little step back. Take a look at what you've got. Assess it. Is it lined up the way you want? Do you have enough blue in there? Do you have enough green in there? Um, what does it look like? Okay? What you're going to want to do before we do the tracing of the mermaid, and that's next, you want to go ahead and just make any little minor adjustments that you want to the background. Okay, so what I'm going to do at the moment is exactly that. I'm going to take a little bit more of my dark blue. Okay, and I'm going to come in here and just darken some of this up in this corner. I also want to do this. I'm going to go ahead and where I've got this dark blue in the corner, I'm going to paint my edges to match. If I got any paint, any of these lines that meet the edges, I just want to come in and lightly, lightly add those into the edges as well. Again, if any of these lines go all the way out to the edge, maybe this is an option. Simply um, wrap that line around to the edges. Okay. So I'm just going to come in here and add a little bit more blue. I want to have a little, a little bit more streakiness in my painting. So I'm just doing some touch-ups. Again, we're gonna we're gonna go in and start painting the mer or tracing in the mermaid in a moment. So I'm just coming through and adding little touch-ups before I do that. If you're if you're tracing in pencil and that's what I recommend that you trace the mermaid in. Um, I want you to um, understand that the, you're going to be tracing it in pencil. <clears throat> I highly recommend doing it in pencil first. You can do it with, with the marker first, but if you make a mistake, that's going to be really hard to fix. Near impossible to fix. So you're going to want to trace that mermaid in in pencil, okay? And then you can outline the pencil or the uh, yeah the pencil lines in um, ink. Here you go, Ramya, Mr. Homer Simpson. So we drew him, and then I traced him out with um, I, I outlined him in dark ink. Okay, and the kind of basic drawing of home, Mr. Homer Simpson that will probably be part of the the kids' art camp. Again, I'm still working on it. Not. There isn't a whole lot of detail at the moment, but um, it's in the works. All right, let's see. Let me see. As you guys are touching up your painting, let me go through and see if I've missed anybody's questions or comments. Oh, no, Scarlett, your phone died, huh? Okay, so you will, the video is going to stay up in case uh, you want to come back. And um, and follow along. Start you know maybe start where you left off. All right. Okay, guys. So here we go. <clears throat> let me uh, let me talk about the traces really quick. Okay, it is tricky if you're by yourself. So if you're doing the mermaid, it's probably going to be a little tricky. Okay, but, but what you're going to want to do first, is you're going to want to find the, find the position for your mermaid, right? So mine is going to be maybe closer to the upper left than it is the middle, but it's up to you. You could put yours right in the center of your canvas if you want. Same thing with your shark. Find your shark's position, right? Which direction the shark's going to be facing. Same with the mermaid. You could flip the position that she's in. Because I'm by myself, and I'm going to be doing this trace by myself, I'm actually going to use a little bit of tape. My background is relatively dry now. I'm going to use a little tape to hold my mermaid in place. It's just going to make my life a little easier. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Be careful that you don't use a whole lot of tape and that the area that you're putting the tape onto is dry. And make sure it's not like some kind of Gorilla Glue tape. 
It's going to tear part of your canvas off. Um, this is just basic scotch tape. So when I peel it off, I won't have a problem taking it off. So I'm just finding a few spots on my mermaid to do this. If you've got, if you're painting with somebody, if somebody's with you, you guys can do this together. One of you can hold the mermaid up or the shark as, as the other person traces it out. Okay? So, a couple of things before I start my trace or before you start your trace. I want you guys to pay attention to this. The hands on your mermaid. Um, I would recommend leaving those for last because you want little dainty hands. One thing that I've seen when, we, when I've done this live at live events, in-person events, people make really big hands on the mermaid. They end up, their trace or whatever, maybe, maybe um, when they printed it out, the hands were a little larger, uh, or the mermaid's a little larger, etc. but they end up making large hands. Be careful with the hands. When you go to trace the hands, just make sure, again, that we do it in pencil, you might have to make some adjustments, okay? So again, you want to do this step in pencil so that you can erase. You can erase pencil off of your canvas and then you don't want to press too hard down with your pencil because you will then um, you could dent the canvas you want to press down hard enough to see your pencil marks but not so hard that you actually dent the canvas so you don't need a lot of you don't need um you just need to be able to see the pencil marks okay doesn't have to be super dark as long as you can see them and you're probably not going to be able to see them you're not going to be able to see mine, maybe, because you may not be able to catch it on camera. Whoops. So go ahead and start your trace if you haven't yet. Again, you want to do this in pencil. Now, I know some of you with a little experience maybe already traced, had already traced out your mermaid pre um uh, beforehand, before we started the event, that's fine. You know, you guys have some experience. You can, it will work that way as well. Obviously, you can trace it out on the white canvas and then work your way around her as you paint the background. Either way will work. I normally, when I'm painting for myself or when I'm, rec when I'm creating something new, I will paint the background first and then I'll come in and draw in my my main parts of the painting. I usually do those freehand though. And again, uh, maybe in a future post, I'll teach how to draw the mermaid freehand. All right, so I haven't done the hands yet, so let me get the hands in there. So we got a lot of people from California today and a few people from other states. How about um, other countries? Anybody joining us from other countries? Just curious. That would be super cool if there was or if there is. Okay, so I've got my trace in place. <clears throat> I'm going to remove it. See, see that? Scotch tape. No problem. Where I had my tape, I'm just going to go ahead and by hand go over those spots just make sure I'm not missing any details here on my outline okay right here Okay, so I'm going to bring this up close. Oh, you guys can see it. I can see it in the count. I can see it in the image on Facebook, on the Facebook Live. So you guys can see my trace. Cool. Now, at this point, once you've got your trace in place, and don't worry, I'm not jumping ahead. Just want to point this out right now. As you guys are finishing up your trace, you can take a marker and then outline it. Or you could take um, paint on a brush and do the outline with it. If, especially if it's your first time or you're new to painting, I recommend doing this with a marker. Okay, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to give you guys a, a little bit to catch up. Okay, I got to find my other marker. There we go. 
So again, if you're new to painting, it's your first time doing it, you want to make sure that you um, do this in pencil and then you're going to outline it. You're going to go right over the top of your pencil with a, with a marker, black marker of some, some type, Sharpie, something with a skinny point. And time for some, for a cheers, a little toast. Cheers, everybody. My Capri Sun. again everyone just a reminder about the raffle those of you that weren't on here earlier one of you will get a choice between either this painting right here that glows under black light okay pretty cool little little uh, cactus desert scene that we painted a few months ago or <clears throat> this cool little patriotic theme that we did um, right after the week, the week right after 4th of July. If you guys share, not now, at the, end of the, at the end of the session, when you share your painting to your Facebook page, make sure you tag Painting with Jesse. Okay, you have to like the page, you have to follow, I think you have, as long as you like the page, you're going to be able to tag it. Okay, so make sure you like the page, and then you're going to be able to tag it onto your page when you post your painting today and you want to say something nice like hey check out what I did with painting with Jesse today you know had a good time me and my daughter me and my son whatever the case may be say something nice tag the page and then when you're done make sure you send me a message letting me know that you have shared it so I can verify it tonight midnight is the cutoff tomorrow I will pull a name out of you know I'll, <clears throat> I'll do pull the name out of a cup or whatever see who takes takes the painting home and I will ship it to you. As long as you're in, in uh, the United States, I will ship it to you. All right, everybody, so let's go ahead and do the little trace. I know a lot of times some of you guys are gonna be, are gonna be trying to draw with your hand free hand like this and floating in the air. You, if your hand is shaking a bit, okay, if your hand shakes, right, it, it happens. Um, you can stabilize your hand by simply putting a finger down onto the canvas. So like this, okay, the canvas is all dry. I can also put my palm down and do this. Another thing I can do is I can put the hand that I'm not drawing with, painting with, and I'll use that to support my drawing hand. Okay, any one of those techniques works. Whatever works for you. I'm going to use my palm. I don't want to make my mermaid thicker or my shark thicker than what it is. So I'm making sure I carefully stay right over my pencil line. Or if you can, stay on the inside of your pencil line. I would normally do this um, with with um, with a brush. I would just go right in and start painting the inside of this. But I want you guys, especially those of you with less experience, I want you guys to see how this works. <clears throat> I'm gonna kneel down here a little bit. If you guys see my head popping in the bottom, don't mind me. I'm just drawing away after I finish with my trace I'm going to come in and then start to paint the inside of our mermaid Yes, sorry, Midnight California time. Great question, Maria. Midnight California time. Cut off is tonight, Midnight California time. Thank you for that. So Midnight Pacific time. And there we go. There's our mermaid. <clears throat> 
once you've got the trace in place, you're going to want to go ahead and start to paint the inside of her. Okay, I'm going to give you guys about two or three more minutes, uh, maybe five minutes. Let's say five minutes before I start painting the inside of our mermaid, okay? Go ahead and ask me any questions. I got my, I'm ready right in front of my laptop. Looks, looks like you guys are all busy painting away. Probably all pretty busy with your mermaid. Um, again, if you're painting with somebody there, Oh, sorry, give me one sec. You're painting with somebody. Um, have them help you hold the trace in place. And if you're by yourself, simply tape it to the to the canvas. Don't forget, folks. Make sure you guys send me uh, pictures of your paintings. You guys can even send me progress pictures. Sorry, folks, just answering a couple of questions that I got by a messenger here, so. All right. When you start to fill the inside of the mermaid or the shark in, you want to use a smaller, uh, smaller brush. One of the little small brushes, okay? A little, I'll show you mine in a second. Let me, uh, still over here, responding to a couple questions. Also, don't forget that if you guys are watching this, you're not painting right now, you're just watching it, the video is going to stay up so you guys can always come back and paint it. Uh, join in later, okay? Of course, it won't be the live version, but it's all good. So here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to take one of my small brushes. I've got these two little liner brushes, and they're essentially, essentially the same thing. One's just a little skinnier than the other. Liner brushes are used to create detail in paintings. Right, um, little small sections is what you use these with. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these. <clears throat> I'm going to take some black paint. Just watch me if you're not quite here yet. Make sure you're kind of paying attention. So I'm just taking some black paint. Grab my mix plate. Find a little spot on my mix plate. This is just black. I'm going to take my brush. Okay, I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to dip my brush in the paint into the water, sorry, I dip my brush into the water. So I'm doing this, taking that brush, I dip it into the water. Getting, I'm getting the brush nice and full of water. Then I'm going to bring that water and dip it into the black paint that I just put onto my mix plate. So again, just to reiterate, I'm mixing black paint and a little bit of water. I mix the two together. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm gonna start on the hands. Just filling in the inside of the hands on the mermaid. I'm using a little small brush for now, and then as I start getting to the larger parts of the mermaid, I'm going to go ahead and use um, larger brushes. You can even use this little small one to outline on the inside of the on the inside of the. Uh, black outline that you did. So this part of my mermaid has these little wisps that go up like that. Adding those in now. Come around. So again, I'm just using this to paint on the inside of the outline. 
The reason why I'm using this really small brush is because it, it gives me more control. Just like that. I'm gonna go all the way around my mermaid like this. Actually, here on the hands and on the arms, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill those in completely. Those of you with a little bit more experience and more more brush control already are familiar with the way this works. You can just go ahead and start filling in the inside of your mermaid. You don't have to outline it like this. I'm only doing this to show our newer painters how to be um, precise with your brush strokes using these small little liner brushes. And also this it just makes it a little less likely that you're going to make a, a mistake and um, go, go beyond your lines, go outside your lines with your paint. Try to work you know, kind of quickly, but carefully. Don't, don't sacrifice being careful for going fast. All right, there we go. Now, Hi, Helen. How's it going? Yeah, no worries. I will repeat the details for the raffle in just a little bit, okay? Um, now I'm switching over to a slightly bigger brush. This is like a little quarter-inch brush. Same flat shape as the other brushes that I've been using other than the... Well, the liner brush was, brush was a little bit on the pointy side, but this is the same shape, squared shape, or rectangle shape as the other larger brushes that I used. So I'm using this bigger brush, and I'm just going to come over and start filling in the inside of this. For this step, I could if I want, just like I did with the outline part of this, I can add some water to my paint, but it's not necessary. You don't want to make this layer really thick. You want to make it smooth, thin and smooth. The main thing you want to do is you want to cover the entire inside of your mermaid. the inside of our mermaid or your shark now a couple things your paint at this stage might be a little bit uneven meaning you can see some of the blue or green in the background bleeding through the black don't worry about that for now for now your main concern is to add this black paint to all of your mermaid or your shark, right? Later we'll come in, once this layer is dry, dried, we're gonna add another layer to it. All right, something like that. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so Helen uh, and anybody else who might have missed it. So the rules for the for the raffle. Cut off is midnight California time, so midnight Pacific Standard Time. What you're going to want to do is you're going to, you're going to want to share your painting today, your uh, today's painting on your Facebook page, you're going to, want to, you're going to tag Painting with Jesse. <clears throat> you're going to want to, if you haven't already, you need to like the page. If you haven't liked the page, you're not going to be able to tag it. So you're going to tag, you're going to like the page, post the picture, but tag Painting with Jesse <clears throat> and say, and you want to say something nice. Hey guys, <clears throat> excuse me, check out what I did on Painting with Jesse today. 
you know, we had a really good time. Uh, whether it was you and your son, you and your daughter, whatever, something nice. You want to see something nice about the page. And then once you've tagged me on it, once you've posted it, send me a quick message under Painting with Jesse to let me know that you've, um, that you've posted it. And then later on, I can come in, come out and look at it. And then tomorrow at some point, I'll be doing the drawing. What you're going to be getting is one of, well, let's see here. Hold on a second. Maybe, maybe I can add an option here. Hold on. Hold on one second. Tell you what, three options. One of three options. You will either take this home, glows under neon light, okay, cool little desert scene. You're going to take this guy home, the one we did the weekend after 4th of July, okay, all glittery and everything, super glittery. Or you will take, hold on, hold on, hold on, grab the wrong one here. Bear with me one moment. This one right here, okay, you'll take this guy home. And I'll ship it to you. I will ship it all either I will deliver it to you if you're somewhere near me or I will deliver it or I will ship it to you okay um, all shipping covers covered costs covered all right so again those are the options midnight tonight California time is the cutoff share your painting to your page copy me on it let me know send me a message so there's three options whoever wins whoever I pull, who's ever uh, name I poll tomorrow, and I'll do it. I'll do it on the video so you guys can all see it. Um, we'll get a choice of one of those three paintings, and I'll send those. Home. I'll, I'll mail those to you. Mail one of those to you. All right, guys, how are we doing out there? How is everyone doing? You guys having fun? Let me know. You guys are kind of quiet. I know you're concentrating, but let me know if you're having fun. Let me know if you guys have questions. Like I said earlier, no question is too dumb. <laughs> Seriously though, no question is a is a, is a bad question, um, especially if you're new. You know, I uh, I want to make sure that everybody's having a good time. I want to make sure that everybody's happy and you know, getting some benefit out of this. And don't forget, guys, follow the page, like and follow the page. You're, you're gonna get alerts to all my live events. Um, more of them coming up. We just we just got started. Okay. I've only been doing this for a few months on my Facebook page. I think, like I said, I started back in March or April. Can't remember now. But uh, I've been doing paint parties for a long time. I've actually, it's been about three years I have a business where I actually come out and do painting events um, in groups, large groups, for birthdays, anniversaries, all kinds of stuff. And I've done portraits and all kinds of other stuff. I have fine art. But um, the live events and stuff like this online is all new, okay? But okay, cool. Are we ready to go to the next step? Is everybody here? And if you're not quite here yet, it's okay. We can jump ahead and start moving on to some of the other details in the painting, and we can always come back and make little touch-ups on your painting, okay? So give me some thumbs up, just letting me know that we're good to go, and we're gonna start on some seaweed. All right, I'm seeing some hearts, a couple hearts, thumbs up. Oh, great question, Helen. Thank you so much for that. So I'm doing an event. I don't have all the details just yet. Later this week, I'm going to be posting about it. In September, probably the second week of September, I'm going to be doing a Paint Your Pet event, online event. Paint Your Pet event. It's going to entail some emailing and stuff like that, pictures and all this other stuff where you guys have to send me your picture, your pet's picture. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to paint your pet online. Okay, live. We're going to be doing our, paint, our pets live. How you ask, well, you'll see. But information on that is going to be coming um, over the next few days. No more than a week from now, you'll, you'll see the details on all that. So please make sure that you um, be on the lookout for that because that's going to be a really fun event. 
whether you have a dog, cat, rat, horse, armadillo, I don't know, maybe you have a, a pet giraffe. We're going to be um, painting those together, okay? More details to come. But all right, guys, let's do some seaweed. All right, little brush, one of your little lighter brushes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to use one of my little lighter brushes. I'm uh, using black and green. A little bit of black. No, I don't, don't need a lot. A little bit of black and a little green. Same color mixture that we used on the floor there. I'm going to mix the two together. Mix those away. I'm going to add a little bit of water. So all I did was dip my brush into my water cup. I brought some of that water over and I do this. Just kind of let it drip on my paint. So black, green, and some water. Listen, um, folks, if you're still on the mermaid, don't worry about it. Come on, follow me. Jump, jump, jump ahead to where I am. I promise you, you're going to get a chance to go back and work on the mermaid again. I don't want you guys to fall behind. Okay? So again, even if you're not done completely with your mermaid, follow me. Jump, jump ahead to where I am, and we're going to go ahead and then go back and uh, work on the mermaid. So black, a little bit of green. Mix the two together with a little bit of water. Don't need a lot. And then we're gonna start working on some, <clears throat> some seaweed. So watch what I do here. When I'm gonna make some, uh, I can start from the top or I can start at the bottom. If I start at the top, all I'm doing is these little squigglies. I'm going to make a whole bunch of these, so just pay attention. Different lengths, different sizes, different thicknesses. Got some small ones. And all I'm going to do is go all the way across <clears throat> from one side of my canvas over to the other. Got some small seaweed, short seaweed, tall seaweed. Different sizes of seaweed. Again, my little skinny brush. If you're having any type of a hard time um, at making that paint go onto your canvas, just add a little bit of water to your paint. A little bit of water. The water helps the paint flow and stick to your canvas. Okay, there we go. So seaweed all the way across. And if you're making both your shark, the shark and the mermaid, well, who knows, maybe some of you guys are making two mermaids or two sharks. If you're using two different canvases, line up your canvases and just kind of make sure everything lines up. Colors, seaweed. <clears throat> I'll put the two paintings together here in just a moment. much seaweed as you want, skinny seaweed, tall seaweed. Seaweed can overlap a little bit, okay? Something like that. Something like that. Okay, so just to see, show you guys the two pictures together, the two original pictures together, check that out.
<clears throat> just to give you again, just to give you guys an idea as to how the, the seaweed can doesn't have to match up exactly, but it can. And it doesn't it doesn't in this one. In these two, but you know, it still works. And then of course don't forget we got glitter, right? That we're gonna be adding towards the end there. I'm seeing some sad faces pop up. Those sad emojis. Wonder I'm wondering if it's people that didn't get a chance to join in with the live version. But don't worry folks, don't forget. The video is going to stay up, so be ready for that. Capri Sun? A little toast with some Capri Sun. Cheers, everybody. Salud. <clears throat> All right. How's everybody doing with their? How's everybody doing with their uh, seaweed? Are we good to move on to the next step? You got it, Wanda. My pleasure. Cheers, Chantal. Okay, here we go. So we got our little mermaid up there. Some of you have a shark on your canvas. Got our seaweed in place. <clears throat> Here's what we're going to do next. Actually, I'm gonna make some tall seaweed like I do here. I like that tall seaweed. I'm gonna make a few of those here in a moment. But what we're, what we're gonna be doing next is we're, we're gonna be working on a little school of fish up in here. These are really basic. There's not a whole lot to them. Okay, so we'll kind of take a look at what we're going to be creating here in a moment. <clears throat> okay, so pretty basic little school of fish, but I'm going to add, I'm going to create some, some tall seaweed. Because I like that. Okay, so let's see. Oops. How do I, how do, I do that? I've got some, got some light blue paint by accident. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Tall seaweed coming up. All right, little school of fish coming up. So, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys this up close on a plate. So it's easier to see and I'm going to be using a really skinny brush. If your brush isn't super skinny or small, your fish are just gonna have to be a little bit larger. But what I'm going to do first is this and I'm gonna to try to do this up close to the camera. So I'm gonna do like a little sideways Oh, let's see. This would be like a... Uh, 
Okay, whoops. Let me try that again. That's what your little fish are going to look like. <clears throat> Almost like a sideways ribbon. I'll, I'll show you again. Sorry, let me... It's hard to hold the paper up at the same time and draw at the same time. So like a little sideways ribbon is what we're starting with. Like this. Okay. We can make a whole bunch of these. Swimming next to each other. Whoops. Little sideways ribbons. <clears throat> of course they're going to be smaller on the canvas little small ones and then what you'll do is you'll fill these in fill them in like this okay. just like that and you can make them really small But a little sideways ribbon, I like that one better. So let's do that again. A little sideways ribbon. Fill in the center. And then a little bit on the tail. Okay. So you just make a whole bunch of those throughout your canvas. And not, not all over your canvas, right? It's a little, they're little schools of fish, so pick a spot on your canvas so you're going to have your little school of fishies and you're going to go ahead and do it. So I'm going to I'm gonna have a little school of fish going across here, the top, again. Hi Chris, Chris Lynn, yes, <clears throat> the video is going to be up, you need to come back and watch it whenever you want, it'll be up after the live version's over and then um, it'll also be up on my Facebook page. Sorry, my YouTube page. So here we go. <clears throat> Since I'm drawing on the canvas, I place my palm down on the on the actual canvas itself to a little sideways ribbon. My fish are going in this direction to the left. Okay, I can fill that in. Sideways ribbon, fill it in. <clears throat> you can make as many of these as you want. My little group of fishes probably gonna have about maybe eight of them, ten of them. I don't know, something like that. Sideways ribbon, fill in the center. Sideways ribbon, fill in the center. <clears throat> Don't overthink it, folks. <clears throat> Do not overthink any of these steps. I always like to tell everybody to just relax. Usually the more relaxed you are, the more fun you have, <clears throat> and the more successful your painting is. But really the fun part is the more important part. <clears throat> You'll learn as you go. There's no way not to learn. Even if you're not happy with your painting the first time or the first few times, even experienced painters aren't always happy with their work. And they go back and they do it again or they leave it alone for a little while and then they try it again, whatever the case may be, right? But <clears throat> the main thing is to try not to stress. You don't want to be stressing. Just have a good time with this. You will slowly get better the more you do it, just like anything else. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. Sideways bow tie and then fill in the inside. Let me see. Where do I need another one? How about right here? All right. Right here. OK. 
Okay. So for the fish, I just use black, straight black. You can use gold, you can use green, you can use whatever color you've got. But I use straight black. Okay. And your fish can be going downwards, they can be going up. On my shark, I got a couple of different type of fish. I got these longer ones, basically the same as these, but they're just elongated. And then I got these, these are more triangle-like. Okay, this you can make a little triangle. I'll make some here in a moment. I'll make some, maybe I'll make a couple like down here, okay, of these triangle type. Okay. Yeah, so there we go, Maria. Here, so here's the shark. <clears throat> here's the shark. You can make these on the shark side, these here, or you can make these longer ones. Basically, same thing as my bow tie ones, they're just longer. Practice on another surface first. Maybe you practice on another piece of paper. Or on a piece of paper, on a, on a plate, whatever. Practice somewhere else, else first. And then I'm going to do these here in a moment. Okay, these are a little, little bit, maybe not trickier. They're, they're a little larger, triangle shaped. Break them down to their um, basic shapes, and these are triangles. Okay? So again, everyone, paint your pet coming in September. Probably the second week of September as a live. And guys, if you're having fun, if you're having fun with me today, I, I am your art tender. It's like a bartender, but art tender. Get it, get it. And if you guys want to help me, uh, if you want to help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it for those of you that can. I'm gonna, like I said, these live versions are. I'm always gonna have some of these live versions because I enjoy sharing art with every, with whoever. I, I get so many new people coming and painting with me that it's super satisfying. Um, but for those of you that can and would like to help support the channel, so I can keep doing this. Um, I have a virtual tip jar. Look how fancy this looks. I am an artist. <laughs> I just created this here kind of last minute. If you guys want to tip me, you could Venmo me. I got PayPal. I got Zelle. I've also got Cash App. The information is at the top of, the, of the, uh, the details for the video, right? The description of the video if you guys want to look those up later on or whatever. But again, if you guys want to help support the channel, that's one way you guys could do it. Um, Again, no worries of you if you cannot. No big deal. Uh, but got Venmo, PayPal, Zelle, and Cash App. <clears throat> Again, like, because I am your art tender. But okay, the triangle. Let's do some triangle sharks. A little liner brush. Now watch this closely. I'm going to do it on, do it on, on the back of the other plate that I was just using. Whoops. We're going to start with a little triangle. A little triangle shape like this. <clears throat> Whatever direction your fish are going, that's where the point of the shark is going to be. Point of the fit, uh, point of the triangle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add a little bit of a tail on the top and on the bottom of each corner. Okay, something like that. Oops, let me touch that one up. Made it a little too fat. So on each corner, you're doing that. Then you're going to add a little triangle, a little small triangle right in the back, just like that. Okay, let me do that again. We're going to do another one. So we start with a triangle. Whatever direction your fish are pointing in, right, is where the point of the triangle is. So here, for example. Can you guys see that? Make a little, actually, we can do it like this. You don't have to 
this line doesn't have to go all the way out. Then you add a little tiny triangle right there. <clears throat> Again, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to kind of watch. Actually, I'm going to adjust this guy right here. I'm going to make him a little bit like that. Okay. Here we go again. One more. Start with a point. Like this. Fill the inside in. Boom. Tail right there. Okay. So you make a bunch of these. And they will look like this. Can you bring them up close to the camera? So I'm going to make a couple right here. Here we go. Start with my little triangle. Okay, you guys all see that? Close off the back part of my triangle. Fill the inside in. And then I add a little tail. like that I do that again maybe a little smaller this time okay I'm gonna make in this case I'm gonna make uh, make three of them Now the uh, the little seahorses. We're gonna do those in a little bit. Those are gonna be tricky. But I'm gonna teach you guys those in a bit. So you guys keep working on those. I'll give you guys a few minutes here to kind of get caught up. Um, just going to answer a few messages that I got direct. Oops, let's see. All right, let's see. How is everybody doing, guys? 
I know everybody's concentrating on their painting. Um, but again, don't, please don't stress too much. Relax. Have a good time with this. I want everybody to enjoy themselves. I want you guys to be able to come back. I want you guys to be able to say, oh, look what I made. This is so awesome. I painted with Jesse. So cool. Okay. And don't forget, guys, I want to see your paintings. So please share those with me. Uh, don't be shy. Take pictures of yourselves holding them up. Maybe you're painting with your family, friends, whatever. Take pictures, take little group pictures together and send them over to me, okay? I would love to see what you guys create. And I do share the paintings, but if you don't want me to share, share your painting, just let me know. But I do like to have those. It helps me see, um, you know, it helps me to kind of <clears throat> gauge how you guys do. And uh, if you guys do a good job, then I can say, hey. I did a good job teaching you guys. Oops, sorry, I'm just moving my camera over. It's a little tiny bit. There we go. All right, everyone. So we got some fish. We got our mermaid. We got um, some seaweed. So what is next? Well, glad you guys are asking. We're going to create some little bubbles here. So I got different bubbles. Water bubbles, you know, little bubbles kind of floating around. Got some blue ones. Got some lighter ones got some a couple of yellow ones here and there okay we're gonna start doing that here in just a sec okay so i'm gonna give you guys about two minutes to kind of finish up on those fish you can always go back to the fish don't stress if you're not done with those we can always go back and touch those up we're gonna do some bubbles and then we're gonna do some seahorses okay um i want to give you guys a break from from drawing we're going to go to something a little easier to do, and that's those bubbles, and then we're going to come back. And actually, we're going to touch up our mermaid <clears throat> in a bit, and then we're going to work on those, uh, those seahorses, okay? So, once again, give you guys, you guys got about a minute now, and then we're going to move on to making some bubbles, okay? So, and... Let's see... Hey, Rita, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Disney characters. If you guys want me to do some Disney characters, send me, send me recommendations. I've had a few people ask me about that. But yeah, I can, we can do some, uh, some Disney characters. Let me know what you guys want to do. What are you thinking? But yeah, definitely open to that. So let me know what you guys want to do. Um... Time to open up another Capri Sun. Pour a little out. This is Dos Equis Capri Sun. I mean, uh, it's a ginger and cinnamon Capri Sun. Salud, everyone. Cheers. Thank you for joining me once again today. I really appreciate it. Hope everyone's having a blast. And uh, to many more. Hopefully you guys come back and join me. Many, many, many more events in the future. Cheers. Thank you guys. I'm seeing some uh, some tips coming in through my virtual tip jar. Thank you guys. Thank you. I don't. I won't. I won't put any names out or anything like that. No big deal. I, I'm I'm thankful for you guys that are sending some tips over. And again, no no pressure. I, main thing is I want you guys to enjoy yourselves and have a good time. <clears throat> but. Um, also, do not forget about the raffle. One of three paintings. Cut off. Tonight, midnight. Share your painting. They'll be able to pick that. 
Oh, not the mermaid. No, not the mermaid. That's for a different day. Got this guy. Goes under black light. And this guy right here also glows under black light. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. So, midnight tonight. Share my page. Um, and tag uh, Painting with Jesse and make sure you message me. All right, everyone. Time for some bubbles. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit of blue. We're going to start with a little bit of blue. We're going to start with a one of our smaller um, brushes here. Let's see. I'll, I'll show you in a second which I'm going to be using for this. So hold tight. Little square brush here. Like, looks like this. Okay. I, I used this one already, I think, to fill the inside of the mermaid in. Okay, a little um, wash brush. Number this is a number six. Okay, um, all we're gonna do is gonna grab a little bit of the um, blue paint. A little bit of white paint. <clears throat> a little bit. Whoops, I had a little bit too much black in there, so let me clean that up a little bit. So again, guys, I know some of you guys, most of, it seems like most of the people on today are from California. I live in California myself, um, but I know it sounds like we have quite a few people also from different places. If you have not yet, let me know in the comments where you're painting from. Okay, so I got a little bit of white, a little bit of blue. I'm mixing the two together. Depending on your background color, you might want to add more white. You want, might want to add more blue. We're going to make some bubbles right now. So I'm making a really kind of a light, kind of a light blue. What I'm going to do is simply come over. These might be a little hard to see, depending on the background color, but we'll make little adjustments here in a bit. So the random, little bubbles wherever you want. Big bubbles, little bubbles. <clears throat> Got all these little bubbles floating around. Later on, we're going to add some glitter to these bubbles. Okay, so maybe we got one right here. So I'm gonna switch brushes here in a second because this one's not good for making little tiny bubbles. And we're gonna have different size bubbles, right? So up to you guys how many bubbles, how what size bubbles, all of that good stuff. Again, folks, take your time. So now I've got a little bit more white in my mixture here. Maybe a little bubble here. A little bubble over here, maybe. Pick your spots. Where would it look good to have a little bubble floating around in your little ocean? And then maybe like on this one here that I created up here in the darker blue, I can maybe outline it like that make it stand out a little bit more this one also there we go I like that then maybe I'm going to have some darker bubbles a little bubble here maybe one up here by these little fish maybe Don't be shy, folks. You can also talk to each other on the, in the comment section. I think I've got a couple of people who sent me your picture, your painting picture here. I'm going to take a look here in a moment. But message me your paintings, <clears throat> even your progress paintings right now. I'd like to see how you guys are 
getting along with this piece. All right. There we go. All right, I think that'll do it for now with the bubbles, but take a moment, look at your painting again, step back, take a little step back, and I think I'm gonna add some more. I think I'm gonna add a few more, maybe some larger ones. Assess your painting from a distance, right? That means taking a little step back, looking at it. What that does is it kind of refreshes your brain a little bit. Uh, sometimes um, tunnel vision. Right, you got the tunnel vision that kind of takes hold when you're really up close to it and you can't see everything. But change your perspective by taking a little step back. All right, Jayanthi, awesome. Uh, Rita, you can find it. You can find it at the top. Um, whoops, hang on one second. Here it is, folks. Little Rita, Rita just asked for the tip jar. So for any of you that are interested, there it is. Again, folks, don't stress. I'm on Venmo, PayPal. I think it's pronounced Zelle. I used to say it's Zeal. And then I'm also on the Cash App. But Venmo and PayPal probably primarily is where you're going to want to be looking for me. Just to, sell, just to help support the, jan the channel, I do uh, very much appreciate it. Um, cool. It's also in the description of the video at the very top. You'll find the, the details there, okay? But <clears throat> anyway, um, so look at your bubbles. Add as many or as few as you'd like. I'm going to make some smaller ones. I'm going to take one of my little liner brushes, a little tiny, tiny thing here, and... Um, make these little, maybe little tiny dots offset all these big bigger bubbles that I created just little tiny dots floating around floating up to the surface there we go there we go cool I'm liking that better all right so take a little bit, folks. Give you, I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes uh, to finish up your bubbles. In a, if you're done with your bubbles and you're kind of waiting for the next step, we're going to go ahead and, and uh, add some more, another layer of black to the inside of the mermaid. We're going to do that next. Then we're going to go into our um, little seahorses. And then we're going to go into glitter. Okay? So those are the steps. We should be finishing up by about 3.45, 3.30, Thereabouts. Hi, Kathy. Yeah, that uh, ship is pretty popular. What's up, Darla? I think Darla's watching there. Um, don't forget, folks, I will be uploading this to YouTube. I know a couple of people have mentioned to me that they like to watch the videos afterwards, and they'll, um, I think maybe there's, a, there's an issue when they, if they, if you're trying to cast Facebook video onto your TV. It can be a little tricky. I don't know that anybody, I don't, I don't even know if there's a way to do it, but if you can put YouTube, you can obviously cast that pretty easily. So I am going to be uploading this video to YouTube as well. Okay. I'll have that up. I promise I'll have this one up on YouTube tonight. <clears throat> okay. 
So, told you guys we'd get a chance to touch up our mermaid a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and fill the inside, layer the inside of the mermaid one more time in this black. All this does is it just makes the black really nice and solid. We're going to be adding some glitter to her tail. And she has a little bikini top that we're going to be using glitter on as well. Glitter is optional, everyone. Don't stress if you don't have it. You can also always add the glitter later if you pick some up. Michael's Hobby Lobby has it. My favorite to use for this stuff. It's from Deco Art. I'll show it to you guys in a second. I think I showed it at the beginning of the video, but I know I understand some of you guys got here a little late, so I'll show that again in a moment. But um, it's called Craft Twinkles. And all it really is is glitter, glitter that's gl uh, floating around in glue. Next time, I'm going to have a little bit of music playing in the background. I didn't want to chance it today. Um, I mentioned earlier that sometimes when I play the music, Facebook um, interrupts my video. And a couple of people have told me that if I, in the description of the video, before I start, I put down that I don't have the rights to the music, that they won't mess with it. I don't know that that's the case. I may maybe practice on the test video here soon with that and see if that's the case. Because I'd love to be playing some music in the background. Of course, you guys, probably some of you guys at your house were playing some music. Um... And usually when I paint, I like to have music playing in the background. It's just a cool little, cool little effect. A lot of times I paint super late into the night, 2, 3 in the morning. Uh, when I paint for my, myself, my um, fine art stuff, my portraits, I do portraits of people and stuff, and I'll paint 2, 3 in the morning. It's just me, my canvas, the smell of my paints, oil paints, because I do portraits and oil paints usually, and music. And it's just, it's like meditation. You lose track of time. It's one of the coolest feelings ever. And I recommend if you guys, you know, I recommend that you guys try that some at some point. It's just two, three in the morning, you by yourself. Or you can have somebody painting with you. You guys listening to music and just painting away. Such a cool feeling. Anyway, so here I am just, I just I'm finishing up this second layer of paint. And again, what this does is it makes my mermaid really solid in color. She stands out a little bit more and uh, it just creates a really cool effect all the way around. Okay, so that's what that is. I'll give you guys a couple minutes to catch up on that. And then we're going to get into the seahorses and then we're going to get into glitter. We're doing this step before the seahorses because I want this to be completely dry when we start to add the glitter. Okay, so... Work on that for a minute. If some of you guys are kind of waiting for the next step. Maybe take a little, uh, take a little um, break. Have a little snack, bathroom break. Whatever the case may be. So. I have Zandra painting from little Zandra. Zandra paints with us often. Um, she's Ariel's niece. Ariel, you guys know Ariel. Some of the regulars that have been painting with me for a little while. You guys know Ariel um, paints regularly on here. And she has her little niece, Zandra. So Zandra's painting out of her house. Give me a second. Let me uh, see if I can brighten this up a bit. Ariel, uh, Zandra's painting out of her house with her mom. Check what she. Check out what she did. Look at what she did with her aerial. How cool is that? Zandra, that is awesome. Love it, Zandra. Good job. Look how beautiful that is. Look at, and then look at little Zandra right there with her little pink hair. I think it matches her mermaid. Very cool. Awesome job. So yes, please, folks, send me your pictures.
Okay, Lashawn. Lashawn Claus sent her her uh, check out check out her little handiwork. I'm trying to keep it from flipping, but check that out. Whoop! Of course, it's gonna flip. Let me download that. And this is what I'm talking about. That is so cool. Look at that. She combined the two paintings together, right? Two canvases. How cool is that? Asha, awesome there. Look at that. Hold on one second. Let me see if I, I'm trying to keep. I'm gonna see if I can make it bigger. Lashawn, that is awesome. Whoops. That is awesome. So again, folks, when you're all done, or if you want, while you're painting, you can send me pictures to Painting with Jesse here on Facebook. All right, folks, time for some seahorses. So I'm going to do it again on a plate. Okay, a little plate right here. Just want to make sure that everybody um, gets a chance to see this. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this and hold the plate floating in the air. So um, I'm going to do my best to do this where you guys can all see how this works out. I'm gonna make them large at first so you guys can see them. So little seahorses. <clears throat> I'm gonna give you guys a little up close view. Got three little seahorses on that original painting. Okay. Look at that. Maybe take a screenshot if you're on your phone. Don't know how many of you are on your phone, but I'm going to place this right here for now. So. All right. I'm going to do it on the plate. So we're going to start with the little shape of our seahorse. Like a little J. Okay, you're going to start with something like this. A little J. Okay. Again, I'm making these big to begin with, just to show you, and then we'll go from, we'll adjust from there. Okay, a little J. And then we're going to draw the top, the head part, where the head's going to sit. Like that. Little J with a little tiny, maybe, I don't know, a little hooky thing to the left. Okay. <clears throat> That's going to be where our head is. You want to do the head first. Okay, about like that. From a distance, they're gonna they're gonna look better from a distance than they do up close. Okay, that's as long as they look like little seahorses, you're good. You're gonna make the little belly, the little chest and belly part. Okay, little chest and the belly. Now, I probably made this guy a little too big. Uh, no big deal. I'll make a smaller one here in a moment. Okay. Eh, just make a little adjustment to the. Okay, there's our first little seahorse. Let's see that again. We're going to start with a little J shape. Okay, something like that. Okay, everybody see that? Now, a little head. Little nose. Fill that in. Got that got our little neck. Goes into the chest. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's do that on the canvas. All right, here we go. Hold on a second. All right, little J. Okay. Uh, 
Got my little head. And the little chest. Drop that down. Bring it to a little curl of the tail. Okay, there we go. Make another one. Maybe this little guy is back hanging out over here trying to stay safe from the other fish. chest and we got the little tail so make as many of those as you want uh, let's see we got a little one right here floating a little higher Cool, little baby one. Got mom and dad and a little baby one floating up. That one's gotta be careful because those fish are coming down. I think they're hunting. I don't know if those guys eat little seahorses, but better to be on the safe side. All right, everybody. We're getting close to the glitter time. I'm going to start getting my glitter plate prepped. I'll show you guys again in a second. The glitter type, the glitter brand that I use. Got this little deco art crafting twinkles. There's different glitter types out there. This is my favorite one to use, okay? There's this one, which I'm going to be, use, be using for the, some of the bubbles. And this blue one here, same brand, I'm, I'm going to be using in the water. Got some gold that we can use on the, on the uh, fin, on the tail, or on her bikini top, little Ariel's top. And I got this green. And I'm not sure, I think I might be using the green for the tail and maybe the gold for the top. We'll see in a second. I'll decide here in a moment, but... Um, Gonna pour some out. And again, guys, for those of you that aren't familiar with this stuff, all it is is glitter floating around in glue. Okay? A little bit goes a long way, so I've got this little plate here. Um, pour some out onto. Just getting this prepped. There are all there are all kinds of different glitter types out there. There are some of these uh, glitter paints that have really big flakes. And those work out really nicely as well. Um, I'll see if I have something I can show you guys as an example. Hey guys, as you leave, I know some of you guys are already getting close to being done. Maybe some of you guys aren't going to be using glitter. Please don't forget to say bye. <clears throat> um, and um, don't forget about the raffle. Don't forget about the raffle. Raffle is going to be going up, going on until midnight tonight. Don't forget, share your painting on your Facebook page. Say something about, nice about painting with, so tag painting with Jesse and then say something nice. And then um, send me a message so that I don't, the reason I ask for you guys to send me a message letting me know is because Facebook alerts, I mean, I don't, I don't trust that I get every single one of the alerts whenever somebody tags me. Uh, and so by you messaging me, lets me know that you, uh, oh yes, I'm sorry, Michelle. Yes, we are going to, we are going to do flounder. Thank you so much. Sorry about that, folks. We're going to do uh, flounder. My apologies. Yep, yep. Can't forget Mr. Flounder. Um, but yeah, so the, the raffle will be going on until midnight. Midnight is the cutoff for you guys to share that. And then uh, I'll go through that and do the, 
do the, uh, the raffle tomorrow. Okay, so Mr. Flounder, thank you once again, Michelle. I was about to forget about Mr. Flounder. I was about to ask, hey guys, am I forgetting anything? Because I often do. So Mr. Flounder right here. We're going to draw that guy freehand right now. Woo! Okay, so same thing. Same thing. I'm going to be doing this on a, on a plate. And I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to use a pencil for this. So Mr. Flounder. No worry, folks. I'm going to bring the, as I do it here, I'm going to do Flounder kind of large. I'm going to, between each step, I'm going to bring the, this close up to the camera. So anytime that I'm going to draw something, I always look at the general shape first. If you're new to drawing, when you start looking at all the little details, if you get caught up in the details, it can seem overwhelming. What you want to do, you want to break it down into um, the large components. So what is that? You got the large body, which is kind of a circular shape or an oval shape. And then you got the fins on the left and the right, and you got the tail and a little tuft of hair here on the side, okay? Um, so we start with the big, with the big um, parts first. And the biggest part on Mr. Flounder is his body. So, and again, it's kind of an oval shape. I'm going to use a marker here in a second to outline. So I can start with just the shape of the body, the main part of the body, okay? And I would highly recommend you guys do this in pencil first. Okay, give me one sec. Let me grab my marker here so I can show you guys what that looks like. Poonam, you're absolutely welcome. Thank you for joining today. Okay, so what I did right now is I just traced out or I did the shape of the overall, the overall shape of the body. Because this is in silhouette, we're going to be adding to this and then we're going to fill in, fill in, we're going to fill in the inside and it's all going to be one giant black image, right? So I can make little adjustments, just making little adjustments here. So here's the body. This is all of what's inside minus the fins, minus the tail, minus uh, the little tufts of hair at the top, right? Just looks like a large blob, nothing fancy to it. Okay. Now, you do want to make sure you have the little cheek, right? His little cheek. Mr. Flounder has a little cheek and he has a little chin. So those are important that you add those, a little chin and the little cheek. Okay. From here, I can go ahead and add the little tufts of hair. One, two, three. Whoops. There we go. Okay. So we got the little chin, little cheek, little tufts of hair, right? I'll let you catch up here, folks. I'll let you catch up. Got the little overall shape. Flounder's facing my mermaid. So I have the little cheek, chin. The rest of it isn't as important because right here we're going to have the little tail. And then we're going to have the two little fins on the side, right? So we can go ahead and fill him in for now. And if you're doing this in pencil, don't do this just yet. Don't worry about this just yet. I want you guys to draw it all. You're going to draw him all completely first. But this is just, an, just to give you an idea. So you got this shape all the way around. Okay, I'm going to switch over to my pencil. I'm going to draw this little fin on the left. So here's his little cheek. I'm going to go slightly up above the cheek. Okay, watch. Looks like a little, it's like that, almost like a little paw. And I would make that a little bit smaller in comparison to the rest of his body, it's actually smaller. So you guys can see it, you know, um, that should be a little bit, proportionally a little bit smaller, okay? A little bit, okay? So I go ahead and fill it in. And I'm gonna draw him on the canvas, on my canvas here in a little bit, so. We're doing this twice. Then this little fin here. And this guy is just comes out, comes over, and then back up. And we'll fold it in. Okay. And then we got the little tail in the back, little triangle. 
Okay, just like that. Now you can make little adjustments. One thing that I'm noticing is that this fin is a little lower than the cheek and the, uh, and the mouth, so I can just bring this down a little bit. Now we got Mr. Flounder right there, okay? Just like that. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, let me leave this up here for a moment. And... We're going to do it again here on this canvas. Okay? Now, this is going to be harder for you guys to see because it's so far away from the camera and Mr. Flounder's small. So we're going to start with the body first, the overall body shape. A little higher right there. Can't forget his little chin and his cheek. Okay. There's a little fin on the left. Oops, too big. Fin on the side over here. A little tuft of hair. And then his little tail. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do this with my uh, with my brush. All right, here we go. So the body of Mr. Flounder. Okay, there's our little body. Hanging out, he's talking to Ariel. Ariel saying, did you see that shark? And he's saying something like, I don't know, like, oh, don't look, don't look. Don't look at him. And he's got some of his little fin over here. Let me do his little tuft of hair up here. Awesome, Lisa. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great idea. Absolutely. Glue. If you just have glue and you just have glitter, absolutely. Like I said, all this stuff that I've got is, is glitter floating around in glue. So, yeah, absolutely. Okay, then this other fin over here. And then his tail. Folks, for those of you that think you're not good at drawing, right? Uh, I know, I know, lots and lots of people tell me all the time I can barely draw any stick figures. Practice, I promise you, a little practice, your brain will start to adjust. You uh, rewire your brain a bit. It starts to see things like perspective and um, proportion, because proportion and perspective are probably the two main components of drawing. Right, what's the proportion of the fin to the body? What's the proportion of, let's say, the mermaid's head to the tail and that kind of stuff? Your brain starts to pick up on all that stuff. I'm going to turn the canvas towards me a little tiny bit so I can get a better view of Mr. Flounder. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm... Oh, yeah, I've got to bring this down a little bit. It's a little cheek. Think about Flounder. He's got big cheeks. Anyway, the more you practice, and I know art can be frustrating. Trust me, I've been painting, I've been drunk since I was a kid. Really little, I think, I was like three years old when I was, my parents noticed that I just really, really enjoyed to draw. And I can, I draw people, you know, I, I do portraits. Um, I can pretty much draw you anything, uh, Anything you want, you know, I can, but can it be frustrating sometimes? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure can. But I'll tell you with practice, time, you will get better. Same thing with painting. You, you just know what you can. It's just, it didn't take a little while. But patience, have fun with it, relax. Don't stress yourselves out. 
And there's Mr. Flounder right there. I think the... Yes, it's good to push yourselves. Definitely. Because that's how you're going to grow. But... But... You want to go easy on yourselves, too. You don't want to uh, sit there and... You know... Reshma, absolutely. My pleasure. You're very welcome. You don't, you don't want to stress yourselves out too much. Yeah, the glue dripping. Got to watch out for that glue dripping. Reshma, thank you once again. Have a good one if you guys are leaving. My pleasure, Jayanthi. Hope your mom, you and your mom are having a great time. All right. A couple more minutes. We're going to start talking about glitter. But for those of you that are already kind of chomping at the bit, here's what that glitter looks like on my plate. I got some of the blue here. I got some gold. I got this crystal or pearl color. And then I got some green right there. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes. Okay, do your do your thing to kind of catch up with flounder and anything else. Look at look at look all around for some touch-ups. You can only apply the glitter to the areas that are already dry, okay? So if you're planning on adding glitter to anything, make sure that that area is dry. Don't go add another layer of, of paint to it because then you're going to have to wait till it's dry or you can always come back and add glitter later. But giving you guys a couple minutes. <clears throat> Oh, the shark? So the shark, as far as, uh, Wonder, what do you, what do you mean by, uh, can you elaborate a little bit on the question, Wonder, what do you mean, what can you add to the shark? So here's the shark. Let me, uh, so of course, you know, you got the bubbles, you got the little schools of fish. <clears throat> you can add little seahorses in there if you want. The shark is all covered in blue glitter. For those of you that decide that you want to add to that. You can also have a little flounder hanging out. Maybe flounder's running away from him. Um, maybe flounder's hiding down here at the bottom. Could be. Maybe you got some little seahorses also in the seaweed down there. Okay. So just take a look at that for a minute. I'm going to take a really quick moment to clean a couple of the brushes that I'm going to be using um, just to make sure that I don't have any, you don't want to mix your, your paint with your uh, glitter because it will just make your glitter really opaque. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to rinse these off really quickly while you guys are waiting there or while you guys are working on the rest of your painting. All right, let me go ahead and, so here we go, folks. We got just a few of the brushes that we're going to be using. I usually like to, for the smaller sections of glitter, just like with the paint, I use the smaller brushes, okay? Um, <clears throat> but here's what you want to do. I'm going to start with a little bikini top, okay? Actually, no, we're going to start with the bubbles, because I want you guys, for those of you that are going to be adding the glitter, I want you guys to... Uh, to work on those first practice there you're welcome lisa absolutely my pleasure so i can take 
one of my little smaller wash brushes and I'm going to take some of this crystal paint, crystal uh, glitter paint, and I just come in here and I do this. Well, it might be a little hard to see in the video, but especially from an angle, these guys really stand out. Super cool. Okay, there we go. So I'm only going to use this pearl glitter on uh, some of the bubbles, not on all of them. I'm going to come back and use some, some of the blue. And then I can also take this stuff. And again, folks, if you don't have it, just watch what I'm doing. It's pretty cool stuff. It actually can really enhance your paintings. I'm just going to come in and randomly add little streaks here and there. All right? <clears throat> just like that. All right. I make some thin streaks, some longer streaks. Okay, let me see if I can turn the painting a little bit and see if you guys can catch some of that glitter in the bubbles. There we go. <clears throat> You'll notice it more in here in a little bit. You're welcome, Donna. Thank you for joining. So now I'm going to take some blue and do the same thing to some of the other the blue bubbles. Maybe not all of them, some of them. Okay, I can take a little bit of this, this blue glitter and I can come in and touch up some of my streaks. If you guys have never used this stuff, seriously, it enhances your paintings quite a bit. You can go over an area that you're not necessarily happy with and you can um, Put some glitter over it and all of a sudden, all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Whenever I would do my little live set, uh, my uh, in-person painting, paint parties, anytime uh, glitter would come out, party was really on. Whoops, sorry about that. That's when the party really started. No, seriously, people would get super excited. Oh, glitter. Every once in a while somebody would go like, nah, I don't like glitter. All right, cool. But for the most part, for the most part, glitter is pretty dang cool. All right. So I got a little bit of blue glitter up in here. I got I just added some pearl glitter as well. Again, folks, what you want to do is make sure your brushes are not um, full of paint. Well, let me adjust my, my computer. It's telling me that. My battery's running low. How's that? How's that possible? Okay, let's see. There we go. I think we're in business. Okay. Sorry, my laptop was warning me that my battery was running low. So I had to fix that. Okay. So you want your brushes to be relatively clean, free of any paint, right, when you're doing this. You also want to be, when you apply the paint to, or the glitter paint to your canvas, you want to make sure the canvas is dry. A couple of tips that are going to help you have a really nice, clean painting. So let's talk about the glitter on our mermaid. Start with the bikini top, which I'm going to make in gold. A little liner brush. Okay, all we're going to do is... Give our mermaid little bikini top. Show you what it looks like on the original. Okay. Looks like she's wearing glasses. Big old glasses. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Little circle. Another circle. Okay. Circle in a circle. The one on the far side is going to be a little bit smaller because of perspective. You want to make the one that's closer or the one on this side a little bit bigger. All right. And then from there, you want to do the little back part of the bikini, a little, little strap. There we go. All 
All right. Okay. Don't forget, folks, our next live event is going to be next week. I don't know what the theme is, um, but just be ready. Be on the lookout for that, okay? Next week. And glitter is the same as with paint. Um, the more you layer it, the more it stands out. So while this is drying, I'm going to start working on her fin. And the fin, for the fin, I'm going to be using this green glitter. So I, this is where her waist is, right? Where this little bend is, that's where the waist is. From there, do this little curve. And from that point downwards, I start adding this, this glitter. This green stuff is really cool right here. Michael's Hobby Lobby, folks. A little bit lasts a long time. Now, I'll tell you guys, for this glitter right here, I actually used some basic green glitter, and then I took a bunch of uh, bigger flakes. I'll show you guys in a moment. And I mixed the two together. This is perfect for creating um, the scales on her. On her tail I can let this dry a little bit I'll come back and do another layer over it and then it gets really like really dense and really super cool so yes so anyway later in the week actually maybe by tomorrow or the next day I'm gonna have the calendar for the rest for um, for August up of the paintings for each live event Okay, so be on the lookout for that. If it's, your, if, it's for, if, sorry, if it's your first time painting with us, please come on back. No worries, Adriana. You know how it works. It'll be up, and you can come back and do it. It's also going to be up on the YouTube, so yeah. Hi, how are you? Are you, are you vacationing? What are you doing, Adriana? If you don't mind my asking. If you don't mind my being a little nosy. So, I've got glitter on her body, got glitter on her little bikini top. For those of you that are doing the shark, you can cover the entire shark in this blue glitter, right, all over the shark's body. And then, of course, do the same thing in the, the bubbles and stuff, the streaks, just everything that we did to the, uh, to the mermaid painting, you can do to the shark. Oh, the eye on the shark. Really quickly, just want to point that out. Obviously, the cutout doesn't have the eye. What you want to do is you want to add the little eye. Just a little teardrop sideways, little kind of a teardrop shape or a leaf, shape of a leaf sideways. You know, maybe find one of the big teeth here closer to the, closer to the uh, right edge of the mouth. Just use that as your guide. Go straight up and then slightly to the left for that eye. So straight up and then slightly over to the left for the eyeball. For the eye, I'm sorry. Okay? So again, there's the eye for that Mr. Shark. Leave that up for just a minute. Awesome. Sedona, huh? Cool. Yeah, I love Sedona. Beautiful place. I went, it's been about five, six years ago. I went like in, I think I went in August. It was super hot. It was like 120, 124, but it was, it was beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back. So yeah, folks, sorry about the, you know, for those of you that are doing the shark, um, everything's pretty much the same, right? The only thing that we haven't done on either one is add glitter down to the bottom here. That's optional, of course, again, and I'm going to do that here in a bit. But you would go ahead and add glitter to the shark's body, and you want to make the eye. The eye, if you find the edge of the mouth, the inside of the mouth, the very edge, just go up, straight up, and move slightly over to the left. If you have, if your shark's eye is a little further Forward, no big deal, right? Maybe if it's a little lower, no big deal. Even a little bit higher, no big deal. Just try to get it close to the edge of the mouth. Use the mouth as your guide. Kind of like your guide post. Comes up, move it over to the left a little tiny bit. Okay? And then as far as the glitter goes, I'm going to add some glitter down here also. You can add glitter to the, to the, um, 
to the seaweed if you'd like. I'm going to take some, uh, some of my, let me see, what color should I use? I think I'm just going to use the pearl color for the, for the base. I used green on the original one, but it was a, a finer green and I don't want to mess, I don't want to use this green down in there for now. I'm just going to use some of that crystal, that crystal color. Okay. So, crystal with my big brush and I'm just going to go right across the bottom here. Don't forget, folks, the video is going to stay up. If you missed anything, if you'd like to go back and do it again, if you did the mermaid today or the shark today and you want to go back and do the other one, come on back, watch it again as many times as you'd like, okay? It's also going to be on my YouTube channel, Painting with Jesse. It's going to be up as the, the live version, though. I've been thinking of maybe going in there and... Um, maybe uh editing it a bit so it's a little shorter where we don't talk as much etc but but i'm not sure yet i'm not sure if i'll end up doing that maybe later but they are the exact same versions of so it's the exact same replica so here we go guys check that out look at that how cool is that don't forget, folks, if you guys had fun with me today, please invite your friends, your family. Um, if you want to enter the raffle, share your painting and tag my page. And then don't forget to send me a message letting me know, hey, Jesse, I shared your painting. I mean, I shared your page. Make sure you enter me into that raffle. I don't want to miss anyone. I haven't yet. In the past couple of raffles that we've done but there's always a first I don't want anybody getting getting upset at me anyway I'll do the raffle I'll do the raffle live I'll do it in person okay and I mean I'm, I'll do it on a video where you guys can all see as I enter all the names in etc etc that way you can make sure that you guys are um, included if you shared it so with the glitter the more times you if you let this dry a little bit and you come back and add some more glitter over the top, it just gets more intense. And this is where it starts, whoops, I dropped a big old glob of glitter there. It's all, it's all right, it's all right. This is where it starts to get really cool when you start to layer the glitter because that's when it then becomes really uh, intense and shiny and it just starts to look really cool overall. And then, folks, lastly, if you guys, uh, especially if you guys like what you, did, what you did, make sure you sign your piece. Oh, you want to paint the bottom part? If you haven't yet, if you're painting on a, an easel, you want to paint the bot, the, that bottom edge. And, of course, I did mine in black, so I'll paint the bottom edge all the way across. You don't want to forget that. That black and green mixture from earlier that I'm going to use. The very last thing that you want to do, actually this would probably be the very last step, painting the bottom part, if you're on an easel. Again, because if you flip it back over, which I'm going to do here in a second, I'm going to violate my, my little rule, it can stick to, the, stick to the easel, right? But you want to sign it. You want to sign your initials, you want to sign your last name. Usually you want to sign one of the corners, although you can sign wherever you want, and different artists do. But you want to sign one of the little corners. And I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use, what color should I use here? What color should I sign in? Hmm. Uh, let me use this pink. Use a little pink to sign mine with. I like to sign mine with my last name, although sometimes I will sign with my first name. It just depends. To, to do a signature, you usually want to use a little brush. But definitely, folks, you want people to know that it was you that painted, that made your little masterpiece. Sign down here at the bottom. Right, we 
go. Banshee. There we go. Cool. Is that? Does anybody have any questions for me? We are just about done. Don't forget, folks, just a couple of things I want to say. Please don't forget to um, to uh, send me pictures of your stuff. Send them to me via Messenger here on Facebook. Right, painting with Jesse. I'm just trying to get some of my mess out of the way. And look how cool that looks. Super happy with that the way that turned out. Hopefully, all of you guys are super happy with your pieces as well. Um, don't forget, folks, if you'd like to help support the page and future videos, for those of you that can, look at the description of the video in the title up above. I've got all the information for my Venmo also here. Venmo Jesse Mendeville at Painting with Jesse. Actually, it should come up at Painting with Jesse. Uh, PayPal, paypal.me forward slash painting with Jesse. I know it cuts off there at the end, but it's same as this. I'm on Zelle. That's my number there, phone number. I'm also on Cash App. If you guys um, would like to uh, help support the channel, you can send me a little tip. Support your art tender. Um, but again, just an option if you guys would like to do that. And then, of course, don't forget the raffle. Okay, don't forget the raffle today. Very important that you guys... Um, let me know if you guys share the share the painting, okay? But anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Please send me your messages. Um, send me your comments. Let me know if there's other stuff you'd like to see me paint in the future and what that might be. I know uh, um, earlier uh, somebody was, Rita was asking about uh, Disney characters, Disney paintings. And yeah, I'd be more than happy to do that. Send me, uh, send me ideas, folks. Let me see what you guys want to paint, and we'll, maybe we'll do it in the future. Um, but that's about it. Look out for the calendar for next, for next month. Look out for the calendar of the videos or the paintings that we're going to be doing on these live events. And then, uh, yeah, don't forget to like the page if you guys haven't already. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. You guys are all awesome. Let me send you guys a bunch of little hearts. Hold on. Don't leave me just yet. Uh, where am I? Where's my little? Whoops. Hold on, folks. Hold on. Bear with me one second. I know you guys are going, Jesse, this is already taking forever. Just want to uh, thank you guys. Never mind, guys. I was going to send you guys a bunch of little emojis, hard emojis, but now I can't find my feed. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. All these aren't for you guys. Thank you so much. Love you guys. Ashanta, you're very welcome. Uh, Ashanta says, thanks, Jesse. Us parents did with our four kids, 9, 13, 15, 21. We all enjoyed painting this our first time. Our daughter, 21, is an artist, and she loved this project. I will tag our paintings later. Thank you. You got it. My pleasure, Ashanta. Absolutely my pleasure. Um, hi. Who's that? Arya? Thank you, Arya. My pleasure. You are very welcome. Jocelyn, you got it. Move in. You're very, very welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me today. All right, everyone. Hope to see you guys all back here soon. Again, next week will be our next one. Chantal, you're welcome. Bye, everybody. Have a good rest of the weekend. Bye, Kathy. You're welcome, Aaron. Aaron says, thank you, Jesse. Painted with my six and two-year-olds. You made it easy enough to follow that I could juggle. <laughs> uh, my pleasure. I cut out the templates with an exacto knife and use them as stencils to fill in for the uh, younger ones and it worked well. Awesome. Good to hear. All right, Wonder, you got it. My pleasure. Miala and I had fun. Awesome, Wonder. Glad you guys enjoyed yourselves. All right. Hope to see, hope to see you guys back here next week. Have a good rest of the week. Bye, everybody. Don't forget, the video is going to be up for those of you that might have missed it. Bye-bye.